Welcome to Ripped from Reddit, I'm your host Daniel. What are you still mad about? Being the only second grade class in the history of my school, to miss out in the annual apple picking trip, all because a group of boys had been consistently acting out for a while. The teachers believed the best way to punish them was to pull the field trip from everyone. Of course, the boys didn't learn anything from it, and I was left quite bitter. We went on a school trip for geography class to some hills to take pictures of wildlife, etc. I had permission as everyone else. I was walking fine, but I'd had two knee operations and missed almost six months of school. They did one knee at a time to allow for some recovering before doing the other. So on the day of the trip I go to school, do this 2.5 hour coach ride and get there, then they tell me, because I have bad knees I can't go on the walk, the entire point of the trip, and had to stay in the cafe at the start of the trail, if they weren't going to let me go on the walk itself, why on earth, did they both say nothing before it, and even ask me for a permission slip, I could have either stayed in school, and done my other classes or just stayed home. That along with almost every other big thing I can remember that happened in school made me think that schools are run by morons. Did you know, punishing the whole for the actions of the few or the one is outlawed by the Geneva Conventions. When I was at university my sister's school had a fundraising thing where they accepted donations for them to sell off in a car boot sale. My mum gave away my entire book collection without letting me know. This included a book that my granddad gave to me when I turned 15 where he wishes me the best, a couple from teachers, after I left their class and a few that I exchanged with friends. When I graduated secondary school, we gave each other a copy of some of our favorite books, I know I'm a nerd. I only found out months later with no way to track them down. Why is parents giving child's things away like half of the responses? For me, it was mostly just the feeling of betrayal. I mean, I knew she was self-absorbed, but I had hoped that I would be somewhat in her thoughts. She knew how much I loved them, and that the only reason I didn't take them to university is because I wanted them safe, and that I was planning on taking them once I got a more permanent place. It was just a kick in the emotional nuts when I realized just how little I mattered to her. That I made it to the final two for a very good marketing job in a hiring process with WWE 6 years ago, only 4 at the final hour when they made their decision. A former employee got wind of the job and just texted the hiring manager and both of us were out. I've been in a couple of those interviews where it was clear the fix was in. Once applied for a state agency job where they gave me the questions beforehand. And during the interview just quickly asked me the same questions with no follow up and they were clearly disinterested in anything I had to say. Got out of there in under 30 minutes. Didn't get an offer and frankly didn't want one after that interview. I once sat on a teaching interview where the assistant principal didn't bother making eye contact with me, didn't take any notes, and also during the interview the due date a Uban sandwich that he dipped in ketchup. I will forever remember the sauerkraut falling off of the bread into the styrofoam container as the sense of feeling insulted set in. I was legitimately a good candidate too, but it was quite clear from the get-go that he had no intentions of hiring me whatsoever. I graduated in 2008, in the middle of that recession. There were no jobs available because I was magically overqualified with my college degree and underqualified with no experience. I got one interview and I was perfect for the job, but the employer said that I live too far away. The commute would have been an hour and 10 minutes, but I was willing to move because I had just finished school and there was nothing keeping me in my college town. The interviewer just kept shaking his head saying that's too far of a drive. Dude, flipping listen to me. It would have been an awesome job. I had a pretty similar experience the other day. An interviewer asked about my living situation and got mad when I told her that I'll probably be moving to a city 40 minutes away from the one where I'm living right now because we're in the middle of a housing crisis and it's pretty much impossible to find somewhere to live in this city unless you're rich. I told her that I could commute there but she just wasn't having it and kept asking if I was just going to leave the city like that. It was definitely a weird experience. To play devil's advocate, it's possible he knew the job might not be around in a few months and didn't want you to move and then get laid off. So back when I was in kindergarten my class has a huge snitch. We were doing arts and crafts and I ended up getting her as a partner. She said my name 
and when I turned around the string I was holding ended up hitting her in the arm, a string, and she cried, and told the teacher, had to move my clip down, and my parents kept telling me don't hit people. After all that I still hate her. Oh that reminded me of my kindergarten friend, Timmy, he had those metal braces on his legs, but we all didn't care, we still played with him, and hung out with him, and he invited all of us to his birthday party. The next day after his birthday party, he had lot of superhero stickers, and told all of us to paste it on his metal braces, so he could feel super powerful. Kindergarten us thought it was brilliant, so we took his stickers, and started pasting them on. Right when we were done, the teacher walked in on us. Timmy starts flipping ball in his eyes out, saying that we held him down, and put all of those stickers on his leg braces. We were dumbfounded, and OFC tried to deny it but no, this teacher would rather believe this cripple, so she punished all of us, by writing a note to all of our parents explaining what we did, and they had to chip in, to buy new leg braces. This was back in the 90s where teacher's words was the absolute truth, so we got into major trouble from our parents. My best friend could barely sit the next day because of a major beating from his dad. I don't recall the exact amount, my mom did share that story few years ago, and I think she said that she and my dad had to chip in $50. So yeah, flip you to me. I don't care that you get sad more often when we play games without considering you such as Red Rover, Four Squares, and Tag. Bank of America doing their best to flip up my home loan 10 years ago. Even though it eventually was sorted out, my blood pressure rises every time I think about it. I was at a skating competition about 4 hours away. I came home and found out my aunt had given my cats away to the SPCA and left before I came home, so I couldn't confront her about it. Flip you aunt K. If she's old enough you might get a chance to piss on her grave on a foggy autumn morning. 